How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Salamander Wilds, and today I'm going to discuss the difference between newts and salamanders. This is a question that I have gotten from so many people, from people that I know, people that I don't know, and I thought it would be great to tackle this topic for anyone who's new to these animals. So with that, let's get into the video, and if you enjoy, please remember to leave a like, share, comment down below, please subscribe, and here we go. Newts and salamanders are a really amazing and beautifully diverse group of animals. And on surface level, we can look at newts and salamanders and see that there's many similarities between the two. But of course, once you get to know these species and groups of salamanders a little better, the differences between lifestyles become clear. And so, what really is the difference between a newt and a salamander? Well, the simple answer is this. In the same way that all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads, this can be applied the same way here as well. All newts are salamanders, but not all salamanders are newts. But that's a really simplistic answer that doesn't say much. So let's dive deeper. And to do that, let's just get a brief rundown of what a salamander is first. Salamanders are tailed amphibians that form the order Caudata. Yep, that's right, amphibians, just like frogs, not lizards. And within the order Caudata, there are nine families. And one family in particular, Ambistomatidae, contains a very familiar salamander, the axolotl. Family Salamandridae is also included here, which contains the newts. Family Ambistomatidae also includes other familiar salamanders, the spotted salamander, Jefferson salamander, marbled salamander, tiger salamanders, just to name a few. Family Salamandridae includes species such as the Eastern Newt, Chinese Firebelly Newt, and even Fire Salamanders. And pictured here, you can see the familiar red F stage of the Eastern Red Spotted Newt and the aquatic adult. Okay, so now you can see how newts fit into the whole salamander family and the order Caudata. But we can take it a step further and dive a little deeper. So, how are newts different? All members of the salamandridae family contain toxins. They're all poisonous. Newts also have more noticeably rough skin, especially terrestrial F-stage newts. During breeding season, male newts are also known for elaborate complex physical changes such as higher tail fins and even crests on their backs. Newts are also known for having very complex life cycles. Most species also have a biphasic life cycle. That is, they start off as aquatic gilled larvae and metamorphose into terrestrial or aquatic animals. Some species have a terrestrial F stage, such as the red spotted newt shown here and even Chinese firebelly newts. The eft is an individual that is not yet sexually mature and will typically reside on land until it's ready to go back into the water as an adult. However, since newts lead pretty complex lives, some species or populations of those species can be seasonally terrestrial as an adult. And these types of living behaviors, whether aquatic or terrestrial, can be influenced geographically and may depend on whether a permanent body of water is available or a seasonal temporary body of water such as a vernal pool. And with that idea in mind, we can compare the newts to this salamander in the Plethodontidae family, the long-tail salamander, and notably how they differ in living behavior. The long-tail salamander is a semi-aquatic salamander as an adult and lives near or in its stream habitat, and won't wander far from the water if it goes onto land. It is totally dependent on this habitat throughout its life and throughout the seasons. And to wrap up, we can also quickly compare the physical appearance of the newt compared to the long-tailed salamander. 
Here, we can see the rough appearance of the red spotted newt compared to the smooth, almost rubbery appearance of the long tailed salamander. And there you have it. Those are some of the ways that newts differ from salamanders. So, with that, I'll end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, share, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you learn something new? And of course, please subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. And until next time, everyone, stay curious and journey into the salamander wilds.